Yeah, extra olives? Of course, it's $9. We we'll call that a bowl of olives. No? Okay, thank you. So you want just half a drop of dry vermouth in your martini? Okay, this will make a difference. Mmm, no, sorry, we don't have blue cheese olives. Extra, 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 extra dry martini? That's not even a thing. Come again? You want a dirty martini, half vodka, half brine, shaken, served up with dirty ice on the side? No, I'm sorry, I, ch I can't. I quit. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us again for this new cocktail video. So I hope I didn't offend anyone in this intro. It's just that as a bartender, I get so many crazy requests when it comes to martinis. It's kind of a running gag amongst bartenders. But of course you are totally allowed to like your martinis the way you want, even though you like it dirty. I'm not here to judge, but I never really understood this thing. It is way too salty for me. But I found a way to make it more my style of cocktail, more interesting for me. And that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to make a next level dirty martini. So if it's your thing, I'm sure you will love this one. It will probably become your challenge for the weekend or your eye hand dirty martini for special occasions. Uh, but on the other hand, if you don't like dirty martinis, it is time to get your hands dirty pun intended, and maybe see if you can start to like this kind of cocktail. So for today's recipe, all you will need is dry gin, dry sherry, orange bitters, a few olives, and a good quality salt. We're gonna infuse our gin with olives, we're gonna make a saline solution, and that together will become our dirty martini. So we're gonna start with the infused gin. All you will need is six ounces of dry gin for five unpitted Kalamata olives. Of course, if you want to make a bigger batch, you simply keep the same ratio and that will be perfect. So once you're done with the mix, you're simply going to let that infuse at room temperature for 24 hours. And once you're done, you will fine strain it into your favorite bottle. This is the result that you will get a beautifully red colored olive flavored gin. And for the saline solution, I said you would need a good quality salt. I'm using a sun-dried Hawaiian salt with a little addition of red clay. It is delicious, the color is matching, it is earthy, it goes really well with the cocktail. But if you have any other kind of Ihan salt at home, like a black volcano salt or a very good sea salt, this will do just fine. Now for the ratio, we will do a 10 to 1 saline solution. That means that we will use 10 parts of water for one part of salt. So I'm waiting 5 grams of salt for 50 grams of water. You will stir it until the salt is properly dissolved and you will put that in a dashing bottle just like this one. So now that everything is ready, we can make the cocktail and we will start with 2.5 ounces of our infused gin. To that, we will add half an ounce of fino sherry. Three dashes of our saline solution. And one healthy dash of Regan orange bitters. We can fill our mixing glass with ice and give it a good stir for about 60 revolutions. So we can now fine strain it into our favorite chilled cocktail coupe. And for the garnish here at home, so there won't be no extra charge, you can use as many olives as you want. I'm using two, Sephra already had one. 
And there you go, guys. This is it. This is how I make my next level dirty martini. Let's give this one a try. Mm. So we are really close to a dry martini, but with all the flavor spectrums that we expect from a dirty martini. There's a lot of olive flavors from the infused gin. It is delicious. And then we also have the saline solution that enhance all the flavors from the cocktail. It also changes the mouthfeel, but the salt is not overpowering. It is way better balanced to my palate. Then the Fino Sherry instead of dry vermouth. I think it is a better choice for this cocktail because the Fino Sherry is very green in flavors and it pairs really well with the olive. So that's it guys. This is how I make my next level dirty martini. I really hope you're gonna like it. Leave me your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you wanna be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers. Hmm. Do you want to try? Yes, of course. Thank you. That's it? Yep. Okay, I'll get the drink. What kind of martini we have? Well, gin or vodka. But can you make me a lychee martini? Oh. <sighs>